get to, but the reason why <laughs> now this is information that was told to me. I don't know this for a fact. Yeah. It could all just be some conspiratorial shit wiping. All right. Conspiracy is fine. That's always good fun to talk about. Poland cut <laughs> Germany off from their own country. Mm. So what there's a town there started with D. I don't know. I can't remember the name of the Who town. Who just said was cut off? Germany. Was cut off from itself. So, oh, yes. Their supply so line. Poland. No, no, no. Poland took over a section of land that belonged to Germany and was slaughtering Germans. So Germany technically had to invade Poland, Retaliate. which was German land before mm. Poland oh. took it, in order to get to and they just the kept, Germans, where it was just, still uh, considered Germany, mm -hmm. and that was considered the invasion of Poland. Well, Hitler was but a the thing is, so he would have used any excuse. That's right. The thing is that... Yeah, see, I've heard they, that they, in they too. It's like yeah, if, it's if say, okay, let's say you live on a farm and you've got a dickhead neighbour that keeps moving the fence post to get more land, so you've got... The guy doing the right thing, the guy doing the wrong thing. The guy doing the wrong thing is the one that says, well, I'm just going to move your fence post and I'm going to claim more land. A bit different when what it's you whole do, damn country. <laughs> but what you, what you do then, if if you're reasonable, you just get the fence, back, fence post back to where it was. You don't keep going all the way to France... <laughs> like because someone moved your fence post. I'm not good so, enough for geography to so know how far a, that is. Okay, so a pole say Poland moves the fence post of their country <clears throat> onto German territory. If the Germans if Hitler was being reasonable, he just would have moved it back and said, Get the fuck out of my country yeah. and then left it at that. But he went marching all the way to the Polish capital, mm -hmm. enslaved the Jews within the walls of their own city, and then kept marching on through the rest of Europe. So Maybe the Polish pissed people, pissed them off, but as Robbie just said, Hitler was a psychopath and he would have found any excuse to do what he fucking did. Well, he wanted um, to r restore the Roman Empire. He did, that's, the Holy that Roman was Empire. One of his oh, visions. that's why, because we were talking about the Roman Empire before. Mm. Mm. But that was one of his, his, his visions to restore mm. the Roman Empire and be the, yeah. the Caesar, basically. Yeah, that's right. And so what Take happened? All of Europe. But how would he, beyond. if he's a proud German, wouldn't he feel. Like oh, anger towards Rome because they took over that's Germany? That's a good question. No, they were allied. And, uh, no, well, let me, tell not, you, let me tell you something. Not let until me... Rome... Can I can answer on. this he question. Have, he I can offer some insight. I can offer some insight into this. He would have eaten this. them eventually, but Mussolini, Mussolini was one of his allies, yeah. So <laughs> what happened? in the, So the history of Rome, it all started in actual Rome where they spread their empire out. But by the time it came to the Middle Ages, the Holy Roman Empire was actually mostly Germany. Anyway, it was known as the Holy Roman Empire and that was Germany was actually the Holy Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. They were the the governors of the empire. They were the military arm mm -hmm. of the After Roman the Empire. Collapse, yeah. So yeah. the yeah, Holy Roman Empire in the Middle Ages actually was Germany. And so he sees the lineage of That's true. his yeah. own people's history as being totally tied to him being a Caesar an emperor, a god, yeah. you know. Maybe you should have looked further back in history and saw that they destroyed his people. And Well, that's right. But, but Unless he's of Roman his, descent then, his, then he's okay, on the well, winning side of it. Kind of got a little there. bit of revenge there too, actually. There's, yeah. yeah, he did. And there's something interesting there as well, is that the Germanic people... Actually, a lot of, the actually I should tribes, say a lot of revenge because Hitler was in... He, he served as a soldier in World War I. And he was really bitter about it. Well, he would have been because Germany was about, crushed about the loss, at the end of World War One. About I. Germany going broke. Fair enough. And so after World War One, they just divided all of Germany's assets amongst themselves, and, and so Germany was just <clears throat> squashed and crushed and worthless. Yeah, and these, much. this is a like a really proud lineage, really proud people. Well, that's why some people like him. Because they say, oh, I know. he saved right. Germany only for a couple of years because That's right. he destroyed it again too. Yeah. But it's something worthwhile well, that he did was restore their economy. He was for the one. leader of the National well, Socialist Party. Mm -hmm. And isn't Bernie Sanders a National Socialist? He's not a National no, he's Socialist, a so but he's, he's, a, he's a communist, Democrat. basically. Social Democrat. Social Democrat. But so I don't socialist think Bernie as far Sanders as the Yanks is a psycho. Concerned. Anybody Bernie slightly Sanders left is a psycho like Hitler was. For the Yanks. So, so they're much in, more bipolar in terms of in the conservative, socialist. In the definition of the days. word, 
Nazi coming from National Socialist. Yep, German Workers' Party, yep. Mm. Is Bernie Sanders but, a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually, a good point. I think, I think I Bernie would argue Sanders that is the actually Nazis Jewish. are on the left of the political oh, when, spectrum. When Trump came out and started telling the Jews how they should vote, like, like for us it was last did week. Did he do that? He did. He said that if you're a Jew that votes Democrat, you're a traitor to your people. <laughs> right. And Bernie Sanders said, laughed at that and said, I vote <laughs> left hilarious. all the time and I'm a proud Jew. So I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, yes, so I saw that. If he is a Nazi, there's, not enough shoes there's to go some into um, somebody's psychological mouth, trauma. <laughs> <laughs> is he a practicing Jew? I don't have a clue. Who? I don't actually know that. Bernie we, Sanders. We can Google that in if you need to. I think on the Rogan cast he said no, but don't, don't uh, quote me on that. I think All he right. did say no. I'm pretty sure Rogan it's asked him. Celebrities, do they know things? Oh, yeah. What do they know? Back to Hitler. Let's find do you out. reckon he's dead? Uh, yeah. yeah. By now he'd be dead. 100%. Oh, by now he would be, but yeah. do you reckon he died when they said they, he died or do you reckon he got to Brazil? Ooh, that's Was it Brazil? I don't think he died when they said he died. He did get to Brazil. A lot of them. That was, uh, a lot of them that got was to one America of the conspiracies, too. wasn't it? That he yeah. f- like fled to Brazil. Yeah, I don't, think he died. I don't think he died. Sorry yeah, for playing with this big producer, I don't know enough about it. Produce the body, motherfuckers. Gotta tighten it up. Well, well, that's the same with Osama bin Laden, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. They cast him out to sea. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. 